Latest on your tropic update for those of you sailing in the Caribbean in the weeks ahead looks like this. First, we started with today, as I briefly mentioned in video number one, no issues in the Bahamas, Central, East, or Southern Caribbean. However, in the West, I've got 48 hours of showers and storms. I am tracking two tropical waves, and it's the one right here that will be responsible for the rain for you, Allure and Liberty. 13L might briefly develop, but I don't see that happening until it's in the Gulf of Mexico, and that goes towards Mexico, not impacting Galveston. And even this second wave that's bringing you all of the rain, it might earn a name. We might be talking Danielle or Earl in a couple of days. Again, while it's over the Western Caribbean in the Yucatan, I don't think it has a name, but it brings a lot of showers and storms for you. So we need to be watching a lot of lightning as a very real possibility for both of you, Allure and Liberty today, as well as tomorrow. And then by Friday, it's moved on. But I do want to get you ready for that heads up, that other system that we're keeping an eye on. So those are the first two of seven that I'm watching. Everything else, the other five possibilities are really not in the forecast or the mindset for another eight to 10 days as they develop. And then as we're in the last week of August, first week of September, they've already developed and I'm tracking them. And most of them don't look to impact itineraries. So as you take a look, I'll be closely watching one that I think could develop in the Gulf last week again of August. And then it looks to possibly spit back out into the Atlantic. So everything from grandeur and liberty over to adventure and enchantment, I'll be closely tracking this and updating you just to make sure you know where it's at and we'll keep you away from it if it's a name system, likely changing anything we need to to keep you at a safe distance. System number three, I think it looks like it's going to try to curve in the open Atlantic, but I'll watch for Bermuda itineraries. And four and five right now look like they curve early off of the uh, African coast. So while there are a couple to track in the days ahead, most of this looks to be minimal or not in areas that we are at the times. And I like that, obviously. So that means minimal impact to your itineraries. But please keep checking back for the latest in the weeks ahead.